James Beard Award winner, the amazing Chef Ming Tsai, celebrating his fifth anniversary here at HSN. He is premiering not only the next innovation in induction technology, and as a lot of you know, Ming is really responsible for setting the bar for changing the landscape of how we cook, both in nonstick and in induction burners or ranges. So why not take that concept to a whole new place with what we kind of call a buy one gift one or buy one keep one as his last and final today's special for the year, his breakthrough nonstick that is not only PFOA and PTFE free, which basically means I don't want plastic chemicals sprinkled on my food. I don't want it on my cookware. So, but I also want to be able to use my metal fork. So Chef Ming thought of everything. And most importantly, He's giving you the same kind of cooking technology that professional chefs prefer. Induction top ranges, as a general rule, are usually thousands of dollars, but professional chefs and cooks across America are willing to pay for it because it's fast, it's efficient, it's consistent, it's precise, this is easier to clean. So all we ask you to do is to pick your color of choice. You get this beautiful oversized 12 inch the master Grilla. And then of course you get his wonderful brand new world launch release, the next revolution, the next wave of his induction burner. Precise technology, so it's, it's both guys for $19 99 cents on flex pay so you choose your purple here's our race car our rich red which you know we are all obsessed and in love with this very stately jet black is always a big big winner if you're not sure which one to go for now this is his gorgeous copper in fact you know what uh here is probably a better way to see that copper so this and the purple are the most limited there, of course, is induction friendly, that great bottom on that master grilla. And then of course the white, that everybody loves that white diamond. And of course we cannot leave that blue ginger blue out. So we know you want to meet and greet. I know you want to say hi to Chef Ming. He is a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> the force is with us tonight with his anniversary. Hello. Good to see you. Chef, I gotta tell you, you're not messing around. If you're here to party, you're gonna do, we've actually got two world launches in this hour. We do, Which we is do. cuckoo. Well, three if you count the pan. <laughs> so it's like, all right. You, you came to play. Well, you know what, I, as you know, and for all you out there, you know I love induction cooking. And we just wanted to make it better, simpler to use. And we did it with the Technolon Plus pan it, combination. Did. And the price is under $100. Yeah. For both. For both. For both. This burner, the first time <laughs> we introduced it, the, the, the smaller version was $100 by itself. I remember. So like crazy. You know, happy five year anniversary. Happy but the anniversary. And this pan I love, right? There's, yeah. So I literally put the steaks on the top of the show. Look at that Ooh. color, right? See, I mean, you know, it, normally it, you don't get caramelization like that from, from right? a nonstick, right? No, not at all. But that. That is how you make steaks taste good. You yeah. want that crust. No, you're right. Right? And it's so important that it's a nice, even distribution. It is. Um, but should I just, I'm for gonna, those I that don't know? Say, you, you read my mind, because let's just start right. with some let's of the basics. Let's explain what duction is. So, Absolutely. So for those that have never seen induction, so this is completely off. And what I'm going to do is put this, and we'll talk about the new display that we did. We just really made it so simple, and it actually just one touch to oh, max nice. sear. Okay. So this is room temperature water. Brain. And what happens when you turn the switch on? Well, electricity goes through, the, like you turn on a light switch, the light goes on. Yes. Well, when you turn this on, you have copper coils. That produce, produces what's called AC, alternating current, right. right? So when there's alternating current produced, there's resistance, which actually is friction, which actually bangs all the molecules of this pan together. So it heats basically instantly. So oh, right wow. now, it's a, and you'll see in about, I don't know, 10 seconds, you're gonna start seeing little, little bubbles, and then within 30 seconds, it's gonna be boiling. It, okay, right? so, I when I look at my range, and first of all, it makes me crazy. And by so the way, steam, we yeah. are Facebooking live in just a moment. Uh, but we also want to hear from you on the air. So get through and 100%. say hi. Uh, wait a minute, am I seeing so steam So it's already steaming, right? And, wow. then, and then the little bulb is going to form. But that, that, that's been 10 seconds, 10 right? 10 seconds. And, and what I love about it, and once it's boiled, well, I'm going to show the thing I love most about it, is because the glass panel doesn't get hot. So the pan all. gets hot. The pan gets hot. The burner does not. The burner does not. And no. what we've done, you see, we've, we've have added this little ridge. Yeah. That's just for safety, sure. right? So now pans can't fall oh, off. Yes. Right? So if you have kids coming Good around, they hit a pan, me. especially, so now we're bubbling. So oh. that's actually there. And, and by the way, this 
any pan that's induction ready. So that's a cast iron pan, any right. pan that Mag 6 can work. Oh, sure. Not, not just this pan. This pan fits great, but you'll right, see right. we actually have exactly. other pans to use. So, all right, so it's already boiling it like is, that. But you know what? How many of us are frustrated with our stove top? Because I love to cook. I'm certainly no Chef Ming. I'm always inspired when you're here. But there again, right? You can touch this, point. right? This is right. warm because the glass got heated by the pan. Yeah. But no. Oh, that's brilliant. No, no heat to the hand. No, I mean, so twofold. I mean, I, I actually had every appliance repair available to man in the last 72 hours from stove to dishwasher to refrigerator, right. you name it. But part of the thing that ticked me off about my stove top is it's high, medium, low. Right. Where sometimes you get like those little bar. What does that mean? This is precise temperature control. Oh, so man. So look at this. So Chef, what do you have You just said on? precise temperature, 125 yes. degrees. That's warm. Oh. That is precise little simmer. So if this was at a party or buffet, or better yet, I'm cooking this for the kids and the wife and this is going and then they're not home yet, yes. you put it on simmer, right? But look how, I mean, I, I can't get it out <laughs> with tongs. It. And this it's is like, it apart. literally falls off the bone. But isn't that brilliant? I mean, and I will tell you, it's been more than once where I've cooked something oh. on a stovetop and I forgot and then put some plastic on top of it. And then it's like, oh, what's oh, that perfume yeah. that I'm wearing? Oh, yeah. burnt plastic. Burnt plastic. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> nothing sexier, my my friends. I'm serious. But that's that's pretty. That's a pretty sexy that's a, looking. That's a sexy beast right? dish right there. I mean, there. look at that. And it's so easy because you do oh, you can do a completely on a stovetop. And by the way, of course, the pan comes with the the tempered glass lid yes, with a little, little bit of hole lid, so venting. with that you can still look into sure. and see what's going on because you don't want stuff to be a rolling right. boil so, so it's all about designing the pan that fits exactly this burner so just to play devil's advocate here again yep. i mean the reason chefs would love this i would imagine is you spend a lot of money on your ingredients yes and if you overheat something or underheat something it really kind of ruins the fact you know whether you it's could ru you, you would ruin these steaks right you, you'd I mean, ruin them. oh my god you spend you know 15 dollars a steak and right. you ruin them by not having a properly heated pan. I know. Here, so. I, I, this, um, oh, stop whatever you're doing because if there's <laughs> any demonstration that you do that I Should think do? really. Trace, oh, will you help me? We, we right. don't even, we can't even afford prop hands. So this is off, right? <laughs> so we have the prop pans. So we just put, right. again, so easy. On and max here. So now it immediately goes to the top, which is 500 degrees. Of wow. course, you can still go down by five degree increments, right? Sure. But one push max here, and the other push actually goes all the way down to 125, warm. So we're gonna go max here. So right now, I know. with these two thermometers, the pan is already at, at 100, and right where there is no pan, well, Tracy's 80 degrees. Right. But where your finger is is 72 degrees, and that's just the glass. And right where her finger is is never going to get hotter than that. The pan is already at 160, Whoa. and it's still at 73, 72, 71. It's almost going down. So now we're at 180. We're going to go oh, to what? Awesome. Let's go to 300, maybe. Whoa! All right. By the way, uh, Chef Tracy, Chef, Chef Eric, hello. How are you Hi. too? Hello. Um, she, she's more than just a professional stunt woman on, on TV. <laughs> Don't try this at home. Uh, if if this didn't work, we wouldn't be doing it because we need to utilize her uh, as the show progresses. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, exactly. You know, it would be a bad idea if we didn't know right, this so now, was going so to now work. Now we're at two. So like you see, now it's really going down. Now we're at two seventy, but right where her finger is, it's still at 72, 73, 74 degrees. It just won't heat up. That's awesome. So we're at two. 90, awesome. And then we'll be at 300 in like six seconds. Five, four, three, oh, yeah. two, one. All right, there's three bills right there. Boom, 300. And then we'll just put a piece of cheese there just to show you. So again, the cheese is at 65 degrees. Where there is no cheese and no pan, it's oh, look, still- Oh, it's bubbling already. And it's already bubbling. Oh, that's awesome. Right? And again, oh. the cheese is at 68 degrees. But right here, where the pan is, bubbling away the cheese, it's 300 degrees. Okay, that's crazy. Um, right? And you know what? If, whether you're, you've tried or have been introduced to induction through Chef Ming, I mean, he really helped pioneer or bring it to light for the regular consumer in America. You want these upgrades and these features. Chef, yeah, talk so here, to this. So what we've done here is we've, it's still 1,500 watts of power. It's the most efficient induction burner out there. We've done... 76 different temperature settings by five degree in increments. Very safe, we put it in an automatic shut off. So if you do walk away, forget, or you know, your phone rings. And it fits this full 12 inch uh, pan that comes with this, with the not only Technolon Plus, which is the best ceramic nonstick coating in the world, it has the lid, so again, you can braise and see everything. And it's that's beautiful. so important. So it's it's a, basically, it's not just a pan, and it's a, it's a kitchen, 
concept. It, it's, it is. It's, it's really, it's really the... It's a kitchen makeover. Right. And by the way, is. if you're in an RV or a boat, you do want these, these little uh, bumpers too, right? You do. I mean... But look, I mean, oh my God, look at that. Oh! Oh, come Very on. hot. Very hot. So, wow. oh, so hey, of course. Wait, guys, do we have that steamer basket? Is that available? Sure yes. is. Um, I, I, you just saw Tracy kind of showing off uh, that steamer insert basket. Now, so, oh, you, oh, oh, wow. I just saw. This right? is a whole meal, right? So the insert itself is yep. removable, so you can actually use it as kind of an extension panel mm -hmm. as well. Why, thank you, Vanna. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to call him You are here to help. I serve at the pleasure, Shannon. <laughs> exactly. Abs Does the union know that you're you're double dipping? You're doing two different jobs. What? <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell. Don't tell. All right. So, what do you got going so, on here, Chef? The point is, this pan you can start and you can. You could get your potatoes, garlic, your, your rib going, but of course it goes in the oven. Of course. Right? This, yeah. this pan can go up to, this is hotter than your oven, right? right? It can go up oh, to 800 sure. degrees. Yeah. Right? So we're going to let that primer just rest, but let, go, let me just okay. go ahead and finish my steak okay. sauce. Sounds so good. these two steaks got a great color on them. Yeah. So what we're going to do beautiful. now is just add a, just in, in this, the wonderful fat that came off the steak, yep. we're going to add a little garlic. And a little bit of shallots. Mm. Oh, and yes, and by the way, this is a metal fork. Yeah. You can use metal utensils right. in this section line plus, right? You don't, I mean, don't take a knife to it, but because it's so sure. hard, you can use a metal utensil. And we're going to just deglaze. We're going to make a little pan sauce there. Okay, so that's that midnight steel that I think has only been presented a couple of times here at HSN. Right. This is a world launch for Chef. And it, by the way, if you love air fried, like I love air fried, you have to stick around to see what Chef is doing for us for his five-year anniversary. Oh, those steaks look gorgeous. Right, so we're just going to slice these. That, all we're going to do is let this wine reduce, and we're going to add a little <gasps> butter at the end. So here's, so here's some good, good beautiful-looking steak oh here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Goodness. That's perfect. That's a great medium that, rare. That is. Right. And oh, there's a, my goodness. You gracious. can't quite hear the crunch, but there's a crunch of the crust, which I love. So we're going to get a big old steak platter here. But look how good that steak is. Oh, man. Right? It's a feast for the eyes. Remember the last time that Chef did anything like this, it was it was smaller. But this has innovations that, first of all, when we talk about innovative and efficient by design, the world really kind of copycatted and followed you once you really brought yep. induction to, to us, to real people. Because normally just chefs could afford it, right. basically. And by the way, it's such an efficient way of cooking. It, it, it draws so little electricity. From your house, right. so and you don't heat up the whole. And doesn't house. heat up, right? I mean, especially yeah. I mean, down in Florida here, it's still 90 degrees you know outside. It it's crazy. Okay, so you added red wine and a little butter. And just and four pats of butter. Okay. Now we have just the most delicious steak sauce that here. That smells heavenly. Right? I gotta tell you. Oh man. And this can go right on top of this wonderful Beautiful. steak. Beautiful. Hey, remember, I know Chef would love to meet and greet you. Fifth anniversary world launch. Final today's special for the year. There we it's go. less than $20 on your credit card, guys. $99.95, 625140. The purple and the copper are actually the most limited. It really is kind of a buy one, uh, gift one, if you want to think of it that way. Oh, uh, I can hear that crusty, crusty. That was not good. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, look at that medium oh. rare. Love it. Oh, and this goodness. is just, I mean, this is how kings and queens eat. Exactly. Other right? girls want the, the box from Tiffany's. I want the cracklins. <laughs> you want the cracklins. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and, and again, if I was oh, at home, man. what I would do to present is I would keep the potatoes and oh. I would put it and I would go back in here. And mm. this is what I would serve oh, just yum. like that wow. to everyone, right? You oh, can hear wow. that sizzle, right? I know. Hey, Ruby in Georgia got the Today's Special and loves your cookware. Oh, Hi awesome. there, Ruby. Meet Chef Ming. Hey, Ruby. Hey. How are I you? wanted to tell you that about two years ago, I think it was, you had the other one off there. Yep. Yes. And I bought the blue one. Yep. And I use that every night. I was just telling the operator, that is the best thing that I ever ordered from HSN. Oh, oh that's my, so hus sweet. my husband passed away, oh, and I don't oh, have sorry. any children now, and I use it every night, just about it. Matter of fact, tonight I was thinking, well, this thing's going to wear out pretty soon, <laughs> but it hadn't yet. Oh. But, this one, but you said this one's a little bit bigger, right? 
Uh, it, you know, the, it's actually, it can, it can hold as any, any pan I've ever done can fit into it, right? But I love it because it's, it has, it has the, this ridge that protects it from ever falling off, right. especially if you're cooking on lower tables, have kids around your grandkids, for example. Um, and the display is even easier by design. It's just so simple. It's just two buttons now. You just yeah. push on and max sear if you want to go max sear. You or, or you can go right down to 125. And of course, you can see it goes in five increments, and it's just so clear. Nice. Again, I've always said the best piece of equipment never requires, hopefully, a pamphlet. You should be able to take it out of the right. box and intuitively know, okay, well, that's on, that's here, and it works. It is. Ruby, you are a doll. Thank you awesome. so much for sharing the anniversary with us. Thanks, Ruby. Uh, actually, you know what, Mark? I don't need to walk over there, but we can just show colors real quick because the purple and the copper, I mean, they really are things of beauty. Copper, this is quite often the case at midnight. The copper is the number one seller. Now that's a little distressing because the copper and the purple are the most limited in terms of availability. The red is always a winner. Black, of course, you can't go wrong. That of blue ginger, of course, one of chef's favorite and famous restaurants. And then of course, we also have the white diamond. And oh, I didn't, no, I did get them all. Okay, good. You did get them all. And then of course, you get a number of recipes that chef is doing just for you. I hope you try it, not only because it's tailgating, season, whether it's for efficiency apartment or dormitory or tailgating or glamping, or if you're someone like me, I can tell you any of the appliance repairs that I did in this last week, of which there were many, right. nothing was less than four or $500. Nothing. Yeah. So in the big scheme of things, this is the best cooking bargain on the planet, especially if you're someone like me. I, It makes me crazy that on my range, I can't tell what temperature it really is. It's like you get either... High, medium, low, the, or those I little I mean, it's such a great point. There is no oven or stovetop right. in your home that you can adjust to right. five degree exactly. increments. None. And it's that's just, so right. important, especially when you want to go slow, like with yes. pastries and ganache Absolutely. and things. And when you go right. max here. So by the way, these sliders, I love this pan because you can get six to eight sliders, no problem. Yeah. Um, I'm using that lovely beef fat to just sear off some oh, pork chops, right? Good idea. I mean, why not? Why not Ooh, co-mingle? Why that not co-mingle? Yummy. But just I, I add these pork, but look at this. Nothing sticks. There it goes. Right? I mean, they just everything just slides. Skating around that. I pan. mean, literally. Right, and that's raw meat that went in. It is, and remember, don't let Ruby be the only one. Of course, we're Facebooking live, but we'd love to say hi. Oh, no, stop what you're doing. You have to, Chef, describe this, because this is probably one of your most requested demos and how to so do this it. So this is my, I just love doing this beer batter tempura. Right, you can use any beer you want, and if you don't drink beer, not prom, you can right. just use club soda. And it doesn't right? matter the type of beer, right? No, it doesn't. Okay. I would, the better the beer, the better the tempura. So you add beer to what? Um, so this is just it's rice flour oh, and rice AP flour, flour and okay. a little bit of baking okay. soda, and you want to get it to pancake batter consistency, pancake right? Which is what we have right there. Okay. Right. And then you can fry anything. Right. So we have, because we're fancy here at HSN, <laughs> yes, lobster we are. tail, we have shrimp, we have <laughs> scallions, right? And then here, as you can see, again, I love the five, what do we have this on? 350 degrees. 350. Exactly. Okay. So this is your fryer. Right. Right? So now you just need to make sure you hear oh, that. Look that, at that sizzle <gasps> has to stay Ooh. at all times. That's how you get flash frying, right? When you can really get now, a nice golden brown, okay. and you can see anywhere I put it is yeah. bubbling. Can I ask you something? Why doesn't the oil drop? Because normally, you know how when you think about frying, the oil, everything drops in temperature. And it does, oil. but as you can see, this is still 350, so and it's you can still tell maintaining because it's still bubbling, 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 right? right? And, so, that, and that's a sign that the oil stays hot. Can I ask hot. you? And again, I'm trying to ask the, the obvious questions if I were at war, if I were watching at home. So I think, again, I think of my burner at home. It's like it cycles, you know what I mean? Like yep. it's, well, oh, yeah, it's hot, oh, then you turn it back up. Oh, again, then you turn it back down. Right. Do I have to worry about that with this? Like you if don't I because, it? because of this combo pan and burner. Right. The burner with induction technology yeah. heats on the bottom, but it, because it's Technolon Plus, the right. coating, that helps conduct the heat and maintains right. the heat. And it actually goes up on the side. You can even see there's bubbling up on the sides, right? And, and so that keeps it, you know, where you set it is right. where you get it exactly and, and it'll never and it'll never go down from there yeah. oh wow that was fast right? chef. i mean Woo! look how look how gb and these are right nice there we go
All right, well, we see you. Remember, the copper is actually the fastest seller. The red is always the most popular. In fact, Cheryl in Washington got that get arrested rich red. Hi there, Cheryl. Please say happy anniversary to Chef. Hello, hello. Hello, Cheryl, how are you? Oh, I'm doing wonderfully. I'm so excited to see this tonight. Awesome. Well, good. Hey, Cheryl, have you been wanting an induction range or, or what made you decide to try it? Well, the thing is, is that my granddaughter, my youngest granddaughter, yeah. is being homeschooled. Oh. And, of course, in school they don't teach home ec anymore. Yeah. So I have been given the task to try to teach, to teach her to cook. Oh. But she's scared of the heat. Sure. And I know that when you're cooking on here that the pan will get hot. Right. But she won't, I just think that she won't be so scared because Good the actual burner itself won't be hot. You're 100% oh, correct. Cheryl. I mean, that's very smart yes. because, I mean, I, I started cooking when I was 10 years old and honestly, I did burn myself a couple of times because it was yeah. a hot walk and I didn't have the luxury <laughs> right? of induction I know, when right? I was 10. I, I know. I, it didn't exist. I know. And Cheryl, how do we do on the price? Kind of nice that you get in a pan at the same time too, right? Yes, and I I have a few other things from him. No, nice. oh, <laughs> we love you, Cheryl. Yeah, I love Cheryl. the square pan. <laughs> oh, well, Cheryl, happy cooking out there in Washington. I have the best memories of cooking with my grandmother. I should have said that. Uh, thank you again, Cheryl. Do you know that band aids to cover a burn? Did you from cooking? Not, I swear not to you, not from cooking with me. Not from cooking with this. Yeah, but no. no. I mean, and that's funny that I didn't think to mention that. But I swear, right. you, if I took it off, <laughs> you'd see the the trail marks. But that's she makes an excellent point kids want to be with mom kids want to be yep. with dad kids want to be with grandma 100%. in the kitchen and remember the the pan gets hot the your hand does not so the pan gets hot your hand does not so chef i don't know and i know we'll probably do the demonstration again the thing right. that's crazy so even on a burner that you were frying on now it'll feel warm to the touch certainly uh, uh, right yeah i mean this th so this this pan is hot right, right. because it eventually got because the, right. it was 350 degrees yeah. but that you can actually touch yeah it's only warm because of the pan because actually, of the pan, the pan was, just heated right. the glass exactly. right but if this was a normal burner uh, a great i'd be uh, marked i'd be uh, you hear uh, sizzle again right? band-aid yeah exactly band-aid and I, uh, I still have burnt plastic Plastic on a couple of my burners that <laughs> if anybody has any tips on how to get burnt spice plastic spice bottles off your ceramic burners when you put them on yeah. there on. move let me yeah, move <laughs> <laughs> just move I'm all right so, so let me show you the genius of this pan and these are all my technical on plus yes. pans right so I just put this on max here here's some salmon and this is for people that are trying to wash away it a little bit no oil you do not need to add butter or olive oil or grapeseed oil cooking fish because this Technolon Plus is so hard and you'll see this the salmon already the salmon oh, yeah, glides yeah. like it's a piece of butter yeah oh they do <laughs> woo yeah <laughs> Incidentally, that was a black pepper, but oh, isn't that you know, unbelievable? Got, oh, isn't that nice unbelievable? Stuff. I know, but um, <laughs> e me. even my producer, Matt, he said, oh, that's more than a flex pay, honey. Right, but look at that. $19.99. Uh, I just bought some wild salmon recently, and it's like, gosh, can I pay my mortgage, or can I buy some wild Atlantic <laughs> salmon? Details, details, what should I, I would, do, right? And you were making the point earlier about the steak, Shannon. Yeah. You pay a lot of money for uh -huh. delicious salmon. You better believe it. So the worst is when you put it in a pan yep. and you leave a third of it in it. I know, it's stuck. right? Now it's good. I mean, We've literally nothing it. sticks, right? Nothing sticks to this pan. Brilliant. So you can cook just like steaming. And I have nothing against steaming, but this has more flavor because you can actually get a little caramelization. It, it does. So and a just little a little lemon. lemon juice just on the asparagus. Yeah. So I've added no fat None. at all. None. And this... Because we have the great lid, we can take this lid and just put it right on top. We can. And then that will cook the asparagus and the salmon. Nice and I'm going to flip it and get a nice crispy skin. Perfect. Well, you mentioned steaming just moments ago. And right. here, you have to pause for a moment and see what Chef is doing. So I can actually st stack these in multiple layers. 100%. And okay. you can go five high because steam always rises. Oh, sure. It yeah, can't no, go anywhere, true. right? Oh, yeah, you're right. So here are some great dim sum, right? Look at that. So oh, you can. Wow. 
And, and this is a funny statement, but there's hot steam and not so hot steam, right? Right. So this, you can see how hot this steam is, right? Oh, I gotcha. So here we have, and this, I would serve it like that. Oh my goodness. Because it's so easy to serve that way. It is. Oh, what, now what's that? And this is just a little banana leaf wrap. Magic. I'm going to open these up for you. So Ooh. salmon steamed. Eric, I want to know where you get right? banana leaves around here. Asian markets. You do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's where I'm going to go then. Yeah, so many great stuff. In the I freezer section. Oh, wow. And then you can... One pack will take a, I love a banana leaf because banana leaf actually has... Ooh, it's, it's very fragrant, right? isn't it? And you can serve this like that, right? Beautiful. Look at that. So you have oh, lime, presentation. lime and ginger, and you serve it in the banana leaf oh, like this. Cow. What a delicious oh, way chef. of eating salmon that is so moist. I'm going to have to try it. You want to try it? Can I serve you a little bit? Oh, I do. It is I have to try so this. moist. Boy, well, if it, if it tastes and anywhere, so delicious. I'm just you going could right have you could have the whole fork next time if you like. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that good? They don't call it finger food for nothing. Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh. Right, and it parts the flavor, and then That's you, good. again, you can stack dim sum on dim sum on dim sum. You can't. Hey, don't forget. <laughs> and we were just talking about Las Vegas before we got on the air, right, Trace? Chef Trace. Uh, I'll tell you what, dim sum is more than flex pay. That salmon is actually getting pretty close to the price of admission. <laughs> when, <laughs> is an entree oh, when can you're... Can we just look how beautiful that oh, color is? Chef. Again, this salmon was cooked with no fat. That's Nothing good. was added. Even the asparagus get this nice caramelization on it. So nice. And because the cover keeps all the heat in, this, the salmon start to finish is an eight, ten minute it, dish. It really does. That's it. And remember, no, certainly you're you're welcome to give the, the master griller as a gift, but why would you? And it works and partners so beautifully with your today's special. Plus, it looks so great. But remember, just induction technology as a general rule is not inexpensive. And oh, that's why when you bought that brought the platform. Form, really and popularized it in America. I mean, Nobody was doing it. Five years ago, basically today, in September, when I first did my first induction burner, we talked about the originals, which are five times bigger. Yeah, they, they yeah, were they are big. over a thousand dollars. Yeah. They made a horrible sound. Oh, they did. You're right. And they did. And that. they had hot spots. They don't work yes. nearly as efficient as this. And by the way, this is still incredibly light. It is. For a pan burner it, it is. combination. I have to say it's a lot prettier too. Oh, and look at that sizzle. Oh, right? chef. Come look on. Look at that. So now we take our asparagus. How You can see the color. That? See the color on those asparagus? Right? And then here we'll lay one salmon show how crispy the skin is. Oh, and that's one a thing show of beauty it. right there. Right, look at that's that. That's a thing of beauty. And then just a little more lemon Finish juice on the Finish it with salmon. a little lemon. So here's the there thing. We, we see you there. World launch. Last today's special for the year for Chef. Yep. Of course, innovative by design, efficient by design. It's setting the bar again in induction technology. Not only is it pretty to look at, and you get two pieces, which is fabulous. You spend less than $20 on your credit card. But this is the burner that goes where no other burner will, whether it's glass Lamping or the picnic shelter or tailgating or just, you know, bunko night with the girls or watching the big game on TV. It's so nice because remember, it does, the, the pan gets hot, your hand does not. So arguably, you could put a kitchen anywhere. So you kind of have to think out of, out of the box. Uh, by the way, it doesn't get warm underneath. So if you want to put it on on top of a, you know, a hardwood dining room table, if you want to put it on your granite counter, if you want to put it on a coffee table. I know it sounds kind of crazy to think about putting a burner there, but remember, th the technology is such, I love the idea of cooking with your kids and grandkids, where that's why professional chefs like it, because it's not only fast, it's even, it's precise, it's easy to clean. There aren't a bunch of buttons and knobs and gizmos and what's it's. It stays at the temperature that you set it at, which is genius for so many reasons. But a couple quick color updates. So the red is now the number one seller. And, it, but, it is actually kind of neck and neck with that copper bronze. Now remember, and there again, that's, that's where the color story really comes to light. But remember, you're getting both pieces. The copper, we brought in far fewer of the copper. 
I do love that purple. I'm, I, you know I'm a red girl, but I'm, there's something about that purple that just makes me smile. Then, of course, jet black, if you can't decide. There's his famous blue ginger blue, the imperial blue. And, of course, that white is a showstopper. You get all, you get a number of recipes from Ming, which is just a lot of fun. And you get something that really kind of changes how you cook. Because, you know, Chef, when I look at things like this, like, and I, I know I'm jumping around, but no, it's okay. the, the chocolate ganache, I would I would never attempt that on my the range that I have now. Right. Never. And why? Because you can't control a temperature in a normal stove top. Okay. You have a gas, it's low, medium, higher in between. Right. Electric range, you have those consecutive circles that, that oh, right. take forever to heat up and forever <laughs> yeah. to cool down. Yes, they do. So since we're talking about ganache, yeah. 125. 125 is the perfect temperature oh, to that. melt. Ganache. Ganache is two ingredients, guys. Yeah. It's cream yep. and chocolate. Cream, cream and, and chocolate. you put them in a pan and you actually don't touch it. You wow. let the cream heat to 125, it right. melts the chocolate, and you stir it once the chocolate is all melted. But look what we right. have. And if oh, you have children man. or grandchildren, this is one of the most fun things in the world to do. And the thing I love about this is you can have kids right here touching all of this. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Because you won't burn yourself. Isn't that wild? And by the way, if they do hit it, it's also not going to come it's, off. Right. Like right? a little bumper guard, if you will. It but is. But you know what? We're coming into the season where it's sweet season. I still remember my mom microwaving the chocolate chips. They burn on the outside, right? And then yep. she's, you know, stopping it and stirring it and stopping it and stirring it. And then the center is, you know, like hot, you know, and then the outside is, you know, burnt. This is $20 of really good caliber 80% yes. cacao chocolate. If oh. you burn it, oh. it'll seize, you have to throw it away. You do. If you go too slow, it will seize, you have to throw it away. You do. Right? So both are no good. But here, I literally can go away exactly. and for and two hours, it'll still be this perfect Absolutely. consistency. So uh, Emmy Award winner, James Beard, or James Beard Award winner, plug your ears. Rice Krispie bars. <laughs> right, Caramel Krispie. apples. Yeah, you can do those too. <laughs> Hey, I have don't, nothing against Rice Krispie. Don't listen, Christ. you I James like Beard Award-winning, Emmy-winning chef. There's nothing against Rice Krispie bars. <laughs> but while we're on Rice Krispies, can we talk about duck? Yes, we can. <laughs> so, duck I love. Look how much fat has come off this duck. I literally just added these. Look at that color, right? Nice. So what I'm doing is now flipping them. But all this duck fat, and this is the best part of this dish, we have these great Yukon Gold potatoes that we just, these were cooked boiled and then we smashed them. So these potatoes are actually gonna probably taste as good as this duck. Oh, but you can yeah. tell all this fat has rendered off and that's the secret. And you can see yeah. how crispy this is. Can I ask you something? That's the secret a of good sandwich. duck. So when you have a skin like that, you do like a little knife cut? We call Yeah, we call scoring. So okay. when you score it, it can then, the, then you can release more of the fat. Oh, good tip. Right, okay. and you can okay. see how much fat. But we're gonna go medium here. So it's gonna take probably, it's a nice thick piece of duck. Okay. You know, another seven minutes okay. or something. And I know we talked, I, I apologize for jumping around, but <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said, I still remember burning chocolate, you know, for the, the chocolate chip frosting on the peanut butter bars, right? Melting the marshmallows oh. for the Rice Krispie trips, ca caramel apples, like all the things that we're doing this Halloween, Christmas, and entertaining season. It's, it's, it is your sous chef. It is your it sous chef. It literally is your sous chef because, and think about, it's, it's look, Thanksgiving is right around oh, the corner, right? Yeah. So you're gonna show up and you have all these buffet meals and you have your chili or your mac and cheese or whatever, but the bar is right there. Yep. But you're fighting for a stove space because there's nine people in there for yeah. four burners. Yeah. Well, if you bring this, you plug it, you set it at 125, you're at the bar. Uh, you're, you're, yeah, you you're are. at the bar. I mean, you don't need it. Okay, so, oh, oh, in case you're just tuning in, I'm going to get out of you guys' way. Okay. Um, Should we do this demo? Yeah, let's do this. So, okay. I'd really like everybody to pause to see right, what you're so doing. So, this is off. We're going to put this on max here. Okay. I have two thermal guns. They start at the same temp. They're both at, well, there's a little bit warm from previous, so they're both at 90. Well, that's because we had a pan on this, right? So right. the pan is already at 120, but where Tracy's finger is, it's still, it, it's hovering at 102, it's going down. Now it's 100. It's going down because actually there's no heat being generated okay. by Tracy's finger. But where this pan is, we're already at 170, and we can go all the way to 400 if you like. But right. the point is, she is a half of an inch, a quarter of an inch away, and you don't feel heat, right? No. Not even any radiating nope. heat, You feel nothing, nothing right? So here we're, at, you know, we're already at 216, 220, and again, we're still at this 95, 93. It's not going to go up. If yeah. anything's going to go down, and we we'll go, we we'll go to 300 again. We we'll go to 250. Where should we go? Probably three to do the cheese. All right, do the three. Sorry, so we get to the cheese here. 
Oh, wrong, wrong. It's a 260. It's bouncing around 280. It's going up. It's that 270, 280. All right. Come on, baby. Are we there? Are we there? I know. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? How about now? 300. Are we close to <laughs> We got there. All right, so now you can see. So the cheese is ice cold, right? Both sides of the cheese are 69, 70 degrees. And you'll see cheese bubbling. It's already bubbling right there. See that? That's fantastic. So the, the cheese is bubbling. Really but right here is demo. nothing. I mean, this is yeah. cold. You can just put your yep. finger there and push hard. But right here, obviously, this cheese is cooking. And usually the cheese would stick to the pan, but again, right. because it's a ceramic, the cheese falls off. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, and, it, and it's it's safe, it's yeah, smart, it's efficient. Fun. You know, here's what's so funny. On my burner, like before I put a, ban a pan on it, the time that we have left in this presentation is how long I have to preheat the pan for before it even comes close to coming to temperature. Right. I'm serious, it's like three, you know, minutes, and then you put the oil in, okay, that's on 60 seconds, two, you know, two minutes. You you really think out of the box, Chef, because obviously with, with your mad skills, you actually help us become better chefs because the products can really make a big difference. It makes all the difference. I'm all I'm all about leveling the playing field. Right. How come us chefs maybe cook better than people at home? Yeah. We have better equipment. Good point. Yeah, and of course. you need yeah. two things to cook well. You need a good pan and a good heat source. Yes. That's it. Yep. Right. And look, this is the pork. We added some fennel to this. Nice. Oh, and I the love The jus, fennel. right? Fennel yeah. right on top of this pork. Gorgeous. A one pan dish, right? I mean, look at that. And then what's just as cool yeah. is cleanup. Yeah, no kidding. Which looks like this. Absolutely. And that was pork chops. There we go. Oh, fabulous. That's how you clean it up, nice. including, and then of course, nothing. I was nothing. just going to say, and, and the cleanup nothing. on the induction. There is, there is no cleanup. There, there is no cleanup. I mean, that's right. the thing that's so cool. So remember, Chef is here for his fifth anniversary. Keep those calls coming. We're Facebooking live this entire hour. Uh, okay, now now we're talking. It's yeah, tailgating. So, yeah, so now we I got mean, your mozz sticks and your stuffed jalapenos. It's football. But mm -hmm. again, so easy to do because this is set at 350 and you can walk away. Oil is one of the most dangerous things in the kitchen. Yeah, it is. You get oil at a flashpoint, you can burn your house down, oh, obviously. no, you can't. And if your oil is at 175 or 225, you cook this, you're going to get the most oil-laden, fatty, disgusting yeah. fried uh, foods. You, you absolutely Quick do. frying like this. Right. I mean, look at this tempura. There's not one drop of fat or no, grease at all. Because it's quick fried and there's no fat. Ditto for these no. jalapeno poppers and the, and the mozzarella. Absolutely. But you know, it's so... It's, it's much more efficient for so many reasons because not only does it keep things at a precise temperature, then you're not dealing with this vat of oil that you're probably not going to use again for right. who knows how so long. So that's a great plan. We use just an inch of oil. Right, and just a small and usually, of oil. And usually, such a great point, Shannon, because usually you have a stock pot and you put in like six inches uh, of oil. I know. And you have to do that because if your pan doesn't conduct heat well, you need that much oil to keep it at 350. But because these pan conducts so well in the heat yep. source is so consistent you only need everything floats when you fry so if it's going to float it doesn't it doesn't know if right. it's five inches of oil or one inch of oil i know it's brilliant right? hey matt can i give a sneak peek of that pan or no that chef did the deep frying in okay because i like to what break the rules i want to show the, the, the item number for the pan that you did that deep frying in because okay. i'm looking at that oh <gasps> i love that texture I love that. I'm telling you. So you're uh, talking about you want to see the hammer. I don't, thank you. The that hammer look. design. Oh, I'm getting that pan. Right. I I'm, love that. I'm getting. I'm getting that and pan. That such. I'm telling you right now. 